Well, 2022 has been a stellar season for Cam Hart. Feature winners, representative honours, and then etching his name into Inter-Dominion history at Milton last Saturday night, courtesy of a brilliant drive behind the Jason Grimson train. I cast no shadow. I caught up with Cam firstly to congratulate him on his Inter-Dominion success and have a look at his drives at Cranbourne next Saturday night. Well, Cam, congratulations not only to you but also to trainer Jason Grimson, an outstanding combination and what a win by I cast no shadow. Yeah, it was unbelievable, you know, after crossing the line there was plenty of emotions there but uh, yeah, it's just definitely a race that you dream to, to win as a kid and to do it with Jace, it's even more special. Cam, you had a beautiful run right from the word go. At what particular stage did you think, geez, I'm going to be right in the finish? Yeah, I was pretty confident coming up to the half when they started to really step it up and it was just travelled so sweet and everything really worked out perfect from the start to finish really. Um, I didn't have to hustle him too hard to hold back the leader and that allowed him to settle really good in the run and you know, once they started stepping up those sectionals late, it made it nearly impossible for ones coming from behind. Yeah, those sectionals you speak of, Cam, 26-4 and 27-6 and you were just sitting there with a smile on your face. Yeah, that's right. I was in the right spot. Um, you know, once they run the lead time pretty pedestrian and then it was really just a, a mile race and they stepped up pretty quick down the back so whenever everyone was trying to make their moves wide it was pretty pretty well impossible and we had the right trip. Cam, back to back victories now for Jason as an Inter-Dominion winning trainer. An outstanding result for him. What's his secret? Yeah, I'm not sure to be honest but he's just, um, you know, everyone sort of asks you that question but it's just unbelievable the way he works with the horses and He's able to keep his um, team pretty small and he just puts in the little details that, that make a difference. And, um, you know, he really gets along with his horses and they're always happy and, um, you know, that really shows in their racing. What do you think of Majestic Cruiser's performances throughout the series? Yeah, I thought they were all pretty good, really. He wasn't far away and, um, you know, he made a little gallop, which was a bit unlike him in the last heat. And I had to kind of drive him for luck after that and he was very unlucky. But, um, you know, maybe just a bit of the travel to New Zealand and everything took a toll on him, but he's um, he's had to freshen up and he'll, he'll be back for Sydney. Celebrations, no doubt, went long through the night? Yeah, big night, big night. So, um, you know, we might never win one again, so you got to enjoy them when they come around, that's for sure. And, um, yeah, it was nice to enjoy it with some friends. It's been a wonderful season, Cam, as I mentioned. You've had representative honours, you've had feature wins and cherry on the cake now with the performance in the Inter-Dominion. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable year, um, you know, Two years ago, I hadn't won a Group One, and you know, now I'm winning Grand Circuit races. It's um, yeah, it's just I still can't believe it to be honest. But just all the support from the great trainers that are putting me on, it's uh, really helped. Still, the support from all the trainers has got to be backed up by someone who's dedicated to putting the hard work, and you certainly are. Yeah, I've just um, you know try to take my career in the right directions, and um, you know try to work hard and, and put plenty of time and, and effort into getting everything right. Plenty of shaking of hands since you've arrived on course today. Yeah, it's um, good to come back home and, and everyone congratulate uh, congratulating me and Jace. So it's always nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of rivalries here in Sydney, but uh, in saying that, we're always happy for each other to do well. No doubt. Uh, Cam, the fact that you are receiving so many uh, well wishes is the fact that you've always been very level-headed. I think that's a, a big plus in your favour. Yeah, well, I try to be. You know, it's not just me that... Uh, getting the results there's a plenty of moving parts to to big wins like that and um you know i only play a small part in it really let's have a look at some of those drives at cranbourne in the uh, second event rocking with sierra for craig Hoban. you probably don't know a lot about this particular fellow but fitter for two runs back yeah it's um always been a really handy horse and i don't know a hell of a lot but i have seen a bit of racing down there and um you know craig jace has been you know staying where craig's horses are and, and he reckons it's quite a nice horse so i um, should run a good race Jason's got two horses in the Cranbourne Pacing Cup, both drawn nicely. Firefox in three, Major Meister in four. Yeah, I'll probably stick with Major Meister in that one, but they're both in great form. You know, Firefox has um, won his last two starts in impressive fashion and he's got a lot of ability. And Major Meister's a, you know, a new uh, stable acquisition and he won really well up, uh, first up for Jace, so he should run a good race. And talking about good training performances, as you mentioned, first up for Jason, and it was a, a very good performance, landed a nice plunge. Yeah, yeah, he, um, he raced super, and, you know, before that he, he'd raced really well at a good level, but um, probably had a couple of little issues, but Jace seems to have worked him out, and, um, yeah, hopefully he runs well. Cam, you're driving the well-named horse in the last, and no doubt you and Jason will be doing for quite a little bit longer, celebrating, and it's going very nicely. Yeah, he's coming along um, really nicely. You know, he had his first up run at Bathurst, and... And went well, and then he's gone to the next level down there. He's um, 
you know, he won really well at Melton last start. He, he felt like a horse that's going to go through his grades. Cam, congratulations on all your success. Also, thank you for out the entire 2022 season. You've been a wonderful contributor to this particular show. You've always made yourself available. You've always been spot on with your assessments. We certainly appreciated it. No, thank you.